Track 2 SoCal, Groove. Track header, mute or solo the track's channel strip signal, arm the track for recording, and adjust volume or pan. Control click to configure which controls appear on the track headers. You are currently on a groove, inside of a groove. To exit this groove, press caps lock, shift, up arrow. If you still have your voiceover settings set to default preferences, that's what it might sound like every time you navigate to a new track in Logic. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at how to make voiceover a little less verbose so that when you're navigating through Logic, Track 3 Audio 4, Groove. You don't hear something track like header. this. Mute or solo the track's channel strip signal. Arm the track for recording and adjust volume or pan. Control click to con And I'm going to pause that with the control key. So all we need to do is open voiceover preferences and I'm going to hit VOF8 to do that. Opening voiceover utility. Voiceover utility. Voiceover utility general. Selected has keyboard folk. And now that we got that open, I'm going to press command two to jump to the verbosity settings. Verbosity. Verbosity. And I'm going to navigate over to hints. Speech. Braille. Tab. T tab. Announcement. Hints. Tab. Five of five. Selected. Hints. Tab. There we go. Speak instructions for using the item in the voiceover cursor. Check. Checkbox. So you are currently on a checkbox. We can uncheck this. When an item has a health tag. Speak health tag. When an item has a health. And we can change that to speak nothing. But if you don't want to turn these off just yet, you can actually adjust the delay on them. So if I keep navigating through this window. Speak hints after delay. Zero seconds. Speak hints after delay. Slider. Set high in slider. Zero seconds. One second. One second. Two second. Two second. Three second. Three seconds. Four seconds. Four seconds. So now we have that set to four seconds. So now if I switch back to logic really quickly here. Command tab. Logic Pro 10. Logic Pro 10. Waiting read. Track 2 SoCal. Groove. Logic Pro 10 has new window. Track header. Mute or solo the track's channel strip signal. Arm the track for recording and adjust volume or pan. Control click to configure which controls appear on the track headers. You are currently on a groove, inside of a groove. To exit this groove, press caps. You see, there's a gap between when it speaks to hints. So if I navigate to a new track. Track 3 audio 4, groove. Track 4 guitar JSX, groove. I can navigate without being interrupted as much. But if you want to turn it off, we can do that as well. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll hit command tab, jump back to voiceover utilities. Voice over, voice over utility. And let's set this back to zero. Four, four sec, three sec, three, two, two, one, one, zero, zero. All right, let's stop it. Auto slider. Speak hints after delay. Speak health tag. When an item has a health tag. Speak health tag. When an item has a health tag. Pop up button. Choose how to announce an item. When an item has a help tag, it's set to speak help tag. So I'm going to VO space on this. Menu three items check mark. Speak health tag. Speak VO notification. Do nothing. You are currently pressed do nothing. Do nothing. When an item has a health tag, pop up button. And I just set that to do nothing. Now, if you still want to hear the help tag, you can press VO shift H to hear the help tag. So if I press VO shift H. Choose how to announce an item's health tag. You see, it will still speak the help tag. So I like to set it to do nothing. And then if I want to check to see if the item has a help tag, I can just press VO shift H. The next one is we want to turn hints off as well. So I'm going to keep using VO left arrow to go back for this window. When an item has a health tag. You speak instructions for using the item in the voiceover cursor. Check. Checkbox. You are currently on a checkbox. Let's uncheck this. Uncheck. Speak instructions for using the item in the voiceover cursor. Checkbox. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uncheck. Hint. Speak instructions for using the item in the voiceover cursor. Uncheck. Checkbox. And set. When an item has a health tag. Do nothing. When an item has a health tag. Pop up button. When an item has a health tag to do nothing. And that's how you can turn off the hints and the health tag. Otherwise, if you want to keep them on because you're still relatively new, you can go ahead and adjust the delay and it'll take them three to five or however many seconds you want before they kick in. That way they don't constantly interrupt whatever you're trying to do. All right. Hope you found that useful and helpful. As always, like, share and subscribe. Let your friends know what Logic.Band is up to if they are new to the Mac, if they're new to Logic. And until next time, as always, happy recording.